Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hi guys, uh, it's Rhonda, and in this video, I am going to show you how you can take um, regular designs that you make, like in uh, Recraft or Artistly or any of your AI image designers, and give them like grungy edges so that they just look better when you put them on a shirt. Like we have this one right here that I put some like broken edges on it and that looks pretty good. And then you have the original image here where it's just this hard edges and it just doesn't look that appealing. So I'm going to show you how when you make designs that have backgrounds in them that you can easily you know, ch change the edges so they're not quite so harsh and things like that. And they just look better on like t-shirts and things like that. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to pop up here into our creative AI prompt library. And since it's summer, I'm going to create this cute sea turtle coral reef image. Okay. And I'm going to use Recraft to do this. And I'm going to paste my prompt in. I want four images. And now I'm going to pick my model. And I think I'm going to try the Flux One Pro first. We'll see how that one goes. If I don't like that, I'll try another model. Okay, so it gave me some different images. I think I like this one. Okay. Now I want to show you something new in Recraft too. This is, you know, I'm going to run this again in a different model just because I think I'm going to try it in Imagen 4. Imagen 4 Ultra. And let me run it in there and see if I like the results any better. Okay, and here we go. We have our results from Imagen 4, and I think I like this one. Um, yeah, I definitely like this one best. Okay, so here is a cool new feature in Recraft as well. So normally, you know, you want your images to be 300 uh, DPI. You want them to be, you know, large. So what we're going to do is we're going to upscale this first of all, which we've always been able to do in Recraft, which is awesome that you can upscale right here. So we're going to upscale this real quick. And now that's upscaled, I'm going to zoom out so we can still see it. And now I'm going to come up here to the right and I'm going to click on export. And it's 4096 by 4096 PNG. But now if I click these three little dots, I have the option of what DPI I want to download this in. So now I can download right from Recraft in 300 DPI, which is amazing. And that's the default setting. You don't have to worry about resetting it every time. So I'm just going to click export. So what I'm getting is a 4096, 4086 upscaled image in 300 DPI. Amazing. I just love it. So we're going to download that. And it's going to take a minute because it is a big image. And we're going to save it here to this work in progress folder. And there we go. All right. Now I'm using Photoshop for this. Okay, but you can, I'll use Photop. I was going to say you can use Photop, but I'm going to use Photop since it's free. Um, if you have Photoshop, it works exactly the same way. All right. And I'm going to drag in, I have an image here, right here, called Mask 2. Let me get rid of that. 
mask to, and I'm going to drag it over here. All right. And now this is opened up in its own window. And if we go to image, image size, you're going to see it's 5,000 by 5,300 DPI, which is what we want. So now what we're going to do is this sea turtle here. We're going to drop that right on top of this image, this black one. In fact, let's put it on top and I'm going to move it up here and I'm just going to make it as big as the rest of it. And then I'm going to select it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select clipping mask. Now what that did was clipped the image to match this black shape. Okay. So this black shape is now the only place that you are seeing our sea turtle image. So now all we have to do is go to file, export as PNG, and it will export this image. Let's go file image. And I'm going to do turtle masked. Okay. And I'm going to save it. So now let me bring this over here quick and let me bring in one of my shirt, one of my mock-ups. I'm going to drop that there. So now, now that we've made that turtle masked, we can use that. Let me find it here quick. Turtle masked. Drop it in here to our smart object layer on our mock-up. Just hit save. And now look at that image. Now, instead of it just having those harsh, solid edges, we have, you know, given it a little bit of texture on the edges and it just looks nicer. Let me grab another one of the t-shirt mock-ups and bring that in. Let's bring this one. And we will put it on this one too, just to show you what it looks like. Turtle masked. Drop that on. That's our image that we just created. Control S to save. And here's what it looks like on our mock-up. Now, doesn't that look so much nicer than just a really, really harsh edge? Like if we, now remember what that looks like, okay? So let's get rid of that one. Let's turn that one off. And let's go in here and drag in the original sea turtle design. Okay. Control S. Now, there's what it looks like originally. I'm not a fan. Not at all. But if we come over here. And we look, that just looks so much nicer, doesn't it? So using clipping masks, uh, you can take, you know, your designs that you have that have the backgrounds that may not look the greatest on a t-shirt and alter them just a little bit with these, you know, rougher edges. So they do look nice on t-shirts. And I have two different masks here. I'm going to show you the next one. And I'm going to leave a link so you can grab these masks for yourself. So this is the second one. And I'm going to bring that image over here. And there we go. And just right click on the image layer. Clipping mask. And now you just save it as normal. Export as PNG. And if you have a bunch of images that you want to do this with, you can just repeat this process over and over. Save and turtle masked 
two. Let's save that. Okay, now see we saved that image and all we'd have to do is delete that image layer, bring in a different image and do the same thing over and over and over so you can easily um, use this clipping mask over and over again. So anyway, let's come over here, get rid of these. Let's get rid of that one and let's turn that one off. Let's bring this in. And this is the second uh, mask. So let's look at what this one looks like. You see, this one's a little different. Let's zoom in. And that just is a little bit different than the other. So that's what that one looks like. Let's come back over here. We'll alternate between the two so you can see the difference. But I have both of those masks. I will leave a link where you can download them if you want them. And they're super easy to use. Like I said, you just bring them into, let's close these. Let's close these, close these, close these, and we'll just start all over. You just open your mask in Photo P or Photoshop. Once you have your mask opened, then you can drag your image that you want to mask right in on top. Select the image layer, right click, clipping mask, it's done. Now you just go to file, export as, Save, and let's call this one Halloween Flamingo. All right, so now that one's done. And if you have several images you want to do, just delete that mask, drag your next image in on top, and just repeat the process over and over until all the images that you have are done. Okay, let's move that there. Clipping mask and it's done. All right, so again, you just repeat the process over and over and you do, you know, whatever images you want, but you're getting those uh, nice uh, little grungy edges instead of the harsh box. All right. So that's how you do it. It's super easy, super fast. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll answer them as soon as I can. And like I said, I will leave a link below where you can download both of these masks. I have that one and then we have this one. Okay. So you can use whichever one you like or both. It's up to you, but they will give your images just a nicer edge instead of that harsh box. Alrighty, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day.